hi hi beautiful people thank you for stopping by and as the title says it is a review on the elf acne fighting foundation and if you like to see or hear my take on this please keep on watching all right so this is the elf acne fighting foundation and it's from eyeslipsface.com I threw out the box that I came with but it's from the studio line so it has a regular black package packaging and it's six US dollars from their site so if you have distributors of elf um, just check them to see the cost but it's six US dollars from their uh, website and they always have a lot of sales going on so you can definitely check out and get it now they have from what my knowledge they have five different sheets and I purchased two got sand and beige and beige is really light and so I wasn't using that but sand actually matched me pretty well it's what I have on right now and I absolutely love it the coverage is medium which a lot of people keep saying that it seems light um, like light to medium for me it's medium and I don't think it's buildable to full coverage but it's a good medium coverage I use moisturizer I use primer and I use different primers I don't use any primers from elf um, right now I have the Mirabella primer on and then I have this and I've set it with wet and wild coverall I've set it with rice powder I've set right now I'm using my physician's formula healthy defense um, power translucent medium powder and it seems it's working really well I do get a long day wear, wear with it it's I, I don't find that it um, moves a lot if I do sweat you find it moves a little but it pretty much lasts almost all day and all day for me is about 8 to 10 hours nothing less than 8 hours I wear this for a full day um, if I know I'm going for more than 10 hours I actually do not wear this because I'm afraid it may just move or shift or just feed and I have to reapply and I'm not a reapplying person so I would give this a maximum wear in once it's really hot about 10 hours wear now the problem I think that a lot of people have is finding a sheet so I got sand and if you like an NC 42 43 from Mac this will work um, I don't know so much for Revlon color stay because I keep fluctuating I think I'm like natural tan or something like that um, where people match me for different colors so I kinda have a whole thing with Revlon color stay so I can't give you that matched up and I am not sure what I am in makeup forever either so I'm at a loss with that but I have olives undertones um, I'm warm but I also can pull off cool foundations I don't know how I do it but I am actually able to pull off because even with MAC I'm generally like an NC42 but I can wear NW25 and 30 very comfortable so it's kind of a little weird with how it does work for me but this foundation sand works really really well and if what I did with the beige that I am um, bought that was too light I actually mix it with another foundation and try to get my color so you can also do that mix it with something else now if you mix it with a full coverage foundation you're gonna get a medium to full coverage experience with this and if you like really thin and shared out almost like a BB cream effect this is so perfect to mix um, with like moisturizer now onto the acne part of this foundation. This foundation says it's acne fighting and I know I did a whole rambling about foundations a little bit there but it says that it has salicylic acid which is one of the things that you use that a lot of people use to fight acne which hazel which actually calms the acne um, camphor, tea tree oil and aloe all of these help to calm real, I call it relax the acne but it's more or less soothing to the face and helps the acne not to reoccur or if it's there and it's you know those painful acne it actually helps to calm it down and not be as crazy as it is now, on your I face. have been wearing this for maybe close to three months and I did notice that when I came off of it I did have a couple breakouts I'm not totally sure if this was really helping me or it was a combination 
of my whole skincare routine but all in all I really like this foundation it feels super super light on the face it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like it's clogging my pores it doesn't feel like a weight on my face it feels very light very fresh and that's why I could wear it to me I can really wish I could wear this all day because I just feel so great with it since I've used this foundation I've gone back to like my MAC Pro Longwear or even the, the mixed concoction of foundations that I have been used and that I make and I use because it has heavy foundations like the MAC Pro Longwear concealer and the I have the Revlon color stay those feel so heavy and clogged pouring on my face after I've used this so this would definitely get a 4.75 out of 5 for me because I absolutely love it and everyone always tells me it looks amazing on my skin the only drawback to this is that it does not have SPF and I wish it has had SPF and that was the main drawback for me because I like foundation with SPF just because I don't like moisturizers with SPF they tend to burn my skin so I like that first layer to actually not have SPF and then use my foundation with SPF so that it doesn't irritate my skin so I would repurchase this I have repurchased the backup of this I've purchased sand and one shade darker so I can maybe just mix with the lighter shade which is beige as I did purchase um, but oh there's another drawback in this outside of SPF you can't see through this thing I've held it up to a light to see where I'm at and I can't see through so I actually store this upside it down and um, just so that it can always run down and it can actually get its you know use out of it so yeah let's talk packaging packaging wise it comes with a black top and a plastic so it's not a glass bottle if it falls and you're like a klutz like me you don't have to worry that it's going to break or shatter um, it's very it's squeezy the plastic you can squeeze it and this is what a nozzle looks like I find it's pretty neat I did some squeezing so stuff is coming out there um, it's of course like all foundations tend generally have a messy tone to it and I am just going to swatch it so you guys can see what sand looks like now this is such a super heavy swatch but you can see how well it actually blends into the skin yeah that's it right there it blends in so beautifully absorbs very quickly and it feels super like like I do not feel I have anything on my hand so I love it it's not greasy it is not um, oily texture it just feels amazing all right so this is the my favorite brush that I love to apply um, liquid foundation which is from Coastal Sense and I think they have a new name for it but it's just like 110 written on the brush handle so I just apply the foundation now one of the startings like I said because of the packaging you are so unable to see how much foundation I've actually held this up to the light so many times trying to see how you know how much foundation I have in it and I have not been able so I pretty much apply it and then I try to stipple it in so as you can see the difference between either side um, this well I have breakouts here like I told you and um, this is just how it looks applied so you can actually see the difference a lot of people say that this is actually light coverage I find mine gives me medium coverage and I'm good with that usually I would like like I said you know full coverage but I just realized sometimes I don't want my I since I started using this foundation and um, using a lot of the BB creams over the summer I just realized that I actually like my face feeling really light and fresh so um, I'm comfortable with medium coverage and it conceals pretty much a lot because I do have uneven and you're not seeing the two colors skin tone um, I do have like acne scarring and stuff but foundation really can't deal too much with that so and I find that it matches pretty pretty well so I'm gonna go ahead and just do 
um, the other side now for you guys to see like I said in my first get ready with me I am so accustomed to just doing like half of my face first and the other half so see I'm not even sure and I've been using this for maybe maximum three months so it does cover all the redness from the acne and I some I just sometimes I I put it on the foundation and then you see I, I stipple it in and then of course do it in circular motions and this is an amazing foundation brush love it and um, I don't pack a lot of foundation on any of my acne um, just because I don't want it a lot of heavy stuff on on them because they won't go down I find when I pack on foundation on my acne it just makes it worse so I um, won't even really put concealer I do put moisturizer and primer on it and I just leave it there I would love to, if I have a function like some special function and I would try to conceal it more but this is just like I said every day for work so I I not going to like pack on anything else so this is a demo on how I apply this elf acne fighting foundation and I hope that this demonstration was helpful so that's my review for the elf acne fighting you know a lot of you requested it and you were interested in getting it I would definitely say go for it if you are my color if you're darker there is a darker shade try it out it's just so worth it absolutely love this foundation and I am going to pick up a couple just because you know how I am with when I love something I like to have backup so I've already purchased two of this but I'm thinking I may put purchase another one it's just i just love it so so much so hope hope this review was helpful and thank you so so much for watching until my next review bye stay blessed